all right welcome back traders and today we're going to be checking out another awesome price action strategy that uses technical analysis indicators chart patterns candlestick patterns entry formations trend lines channels and much more i'm going to be teaching you in this awesome video and i'm going to be doing both the mobile and the desktop so that both users can feel acquainted and I'm using MetaTrader 5 on the desktop and MetaTrader 4 on the mobile, but it doesn't matter vice versa, it's the same thing. And this strategy is an, is an interesting one. You know, I used to use this strategy for a very, very long time. And I'm giving it to you right now for free because I believe it's going to help somebody out there. And you can always just, you know, build onto what you have and create your own fire strategy by my knowledge and other people's knowledge elsewhere. And if you're a complete beginner in all of this, please take the free beginner forex course right in the link description below. You can watch the full playlist. And then right now you're currently watching a piece from the advanced trading course. And if you're also interested in algorithmic trading, which means making robots from forex strategies that trade on your behalf, you don't have to push a button, you can just set it and forget it. Then watch the free video right in the description below. And then also take the course if you're inclined to go deeper on that level. Now this strategy uses a couple of indicators as well as candlestick patterns. The first indicator is something called the alligator and as you can see the alligator will be found under, underneath the bill williams folder remember last time i told you that everything underneath the trend it's the lagging indicators and then everything underneath the oscillators is the leading indicators leading indicators are indicators that are good at showing you what's gonna happen next and then lagging indicators are good to show you what's currently happening and underneath the bill williams is all the indicators that were made by the trader bill williams you know he's so famous that he actually has his own folder underneath here and i'm gonna get into his story on another video i'm gonna give you all the history but when you activate the alligator you'll see that it's just three moving averages remember i told you that the moving average has its own specific equation and it's just um a line that has been drawn from a mathematical equation and in this instance the alligator uses its own special equation no need to get into all that deep stuff we'll do that on its own separate video but for now we're going to be using the alligator coupled with something called the fractals also belonging to mr bill williams i swear this guy's indicators are pretty awesome and the fractals as well, they use mathematical um, equations. You know, they combine a couple of um, candlesticks and then they divide it with, you know, a couple close. But it's, it's, it's a whole crazy thing and I'm going to get down into that in a separate video. But for now, I just want to show you this fire strategy. For everybody on my mobile side, you can do the same by pressing that little F button there. F plus, add, go down, scroll down until you see the Williams bill williams folder and then add your alligator leave it at default no problem press f again and then add excuse me and then add the the fractals perfect we're on the same pace you can press back there and then you'll see how beautiful that looks now perfect this is a very beautiful strategy and it enters accurately and also we're going to be converting this into a robot in a separate video so if you want to use this strategy in the form of a robot in which it trades on your behalf without you doing anything then subscribe to this channel the video is coming soon if i haven't already posted it but in any case um we're going to be using these two indicators and i want to be teaching you another awesome tool as well i'm going to be showing you more and more tools that you can use in technical analysis so that you can get better equipped for all my beginners out there awesome now here's the deal in the alligator right there are three lines as you can see we have a green a red and a blue on your mobile for me right here it's um green red and purple i think oh it's just a weird looking blue and i'm only interested in the green line and the green line is actually called the lips of the indicator you know you can say i'm interested in just the lips <laughs> that's weird stop imagining an alligator and me kissing shut up anyway so i'm only interested in the lips of the indicator why because the lips for me is the most accurate for entry signals now i want it to be that whenever the candlestick closes above the green line 
then I want to take a buy and then, you know, we're going to get to the other conditions. But that's just the only conditions I'm interested for the alligator. Whenever the candlestick closes above the green, I want to buy. Whenever it closes below the green, I want to sell. And this is also, you know, only for for a downtrend you know for a downtrend if it closes below the green i want to sell for an uptrend if it closes above the green i want to sell beautiful now obviously that's not enough to enter you know this is where the fractals come in i only want this condition when a fractal has appeared can you see on the screen where my crosshairs are right here we saw that a fractal has appeared you know and so i want to enter when this candlestick that has a fractal closes above but then the problem is that the fractals are laggings you know the fractals take time to appear they are lagging indicators so i'm going to have to rely on the previous previous candlestick and this is where we're going to have to go to our lower time frames all right and then when we go to our lower time frames this is where we're going to be able to get more accurate um more more signals for the for the fractals so like i said before that in an uptrend as you can see this is currently an uptrend you know let's pretend like um everything after you know how i work we're going to pretend like each and every single thing that's after this red line doesn't exist so when we zoom in you'll be able to see that okay everything after this red candlestick that red candlestick you know going forward nothing exists there so this is where the market is currently open. And right now I'm in an uptrend, right? And this is a retracement. A retracement is when price goes a bit lower just to take a break. Like, ah, uh, uh, just, you know, just, you know, when you're running a marathon, you regularly take breaks. So that's what the market did. It was pushing up. It just took a break. Then it pushed higher than that previous high. And now it took a break again. And then it's going to prepare to move higher. But since we don't know what's going to happen this side, we only have this information going to the left. All right. And so during this break, I want to enter because it's the cheaper price. It's a discount price. I want to enter at the low here. I don't want to enter when the market is at its high, like up here. I want to enter when it gets lower. So I get more pips, cheaper price. You get me. And the strategy is like this. I'm going to wait for the candles to enter inside of the alligators as you can see they entered here and the first candlestick that closes above the alligator i mean closer i mean like close price it, it finishes it prints it close and it closed above the green line and then there's a fractal right beneath that a fractal that points down for the buy then i'm looking for buying opportunities these con these two conditions must be met just like what we see here and they have been met all right and then when we zoom out a bit we can zoom out you see right there we can zoom out and i can't just enter you know the way that i like i can't just enter the way that i like so i want to enter also i need more confluence confluence is when a couple of things come together beautifully to create a symphony you know i want this and this and this and this all of them ticked correctly in order for me to enter and this is how you should be trading as a trader as well you need to have multiple things that come together and they tick they tick correctly so that you can feel more confident about the the position that you're planning to enter and the next thing that i want from this setup right here remember i'm entering down here the alligator has confirmed the fractals has appeared i want to add a support and resistance there has to be it has to be at a point of support and resistance. And I say both support and resistance because the line that I drew right here, right? It has to have also been support somewhere and it must also have been resistance. As we can see right here, the line that I just drew right here, it was support for this little touch there. You know, the market came and touched there to show that this is an interesting point. And then it broke through and then it came back again later on. And then it became resistance not only once, not twice, but then three times. And then now it has resisted again. And as you can see, there's an accumulation of candlesticks right there. 
clearly this is a pla this is the line that i don't want to ignore and if you watch the previous video then you will understand zones and this is where we get to the zone to zone strategy we've incorporated that upon this one do you see how the beautiful the beauty of learning you know uh, multiple strategies gets you get to combine the knowledge that you've gained and use it and grow as an individual you know so i'm going to be using the zone to zone strategy in which i place a zone here in the form of a rectangle to show me that you know the line that i just drew it's not a, a set line but it's an area of interest it is a zone not a specific line but a zone you get me back in the day i used to do it a bit more interesting i would actually put like sandwich two horizontal lines in between a rectangle you know to further emphasize the zones by the way everything in technical analysis and i'm saying this twice it's just for you to better see the chart mentally it's just for a better mental picture so you can make better trading decisions so whatever makes you see the price better use it and this for me used to work perfectly back in the day you know you can change this around i don't like red you know, I just want to change this around to something like black. Make it thicker as well. Whatever helps you see the price and helps you make a better decision. Hey, man, go for it. You know, that's what we're doing out here. And, you know, this is how I used to do it back in the day. By the way, I've, I, wa I wanted to give you this point and I've done it before. There is no one on this planet who will ever give you a strategy that they're currently using. If you see something free on YouTube, just know that person is not using that strategy. I will never give you something that I did. Like, you know, I, I worked hard for this. Like, man, shut up. So be careful of, you know, free strategies. Awesome strategy. I made what, 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 what using this strategy. Shut up. You know, I'm giving you knowledge so that you can go and build your own strategy. And if you want to know my strategy, then you're going to have to pay for that one. And it's over, it's over there on my website. If you are already watching this on the website, it should be the last video in this series. And would you look at that? Now, every time I trade, right, I always like to mark off more zones. I like to mark off more zones. Do you see the advancement that we did? We weren't doing this last time. And this is this is how you're supposed to be advancing. So I like to mark off more zones in case something happens that I don't see. You know, I want to make sure that I see everything. So I mark each and every single area of interest beforehand, before the market starts to move. You get me? Let me make this horizontal line thicker so that I'm going to make it into a, 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 yeah, a red line is cool. And then I'm going to make it the thickest. Perfect. So that you can really understand that everything that's happening after this red line hasn't existed yet. Awesome. And then, yeah. And I would have used Trading View for this because Trading View has this cool playback button in which you can actually like go to any point in time in the past. But then Trading View doesn't have lower time frame for that. You can only do that on higher time frames. And uh, I'm teaching you on lower time frames so that you can understand better. By the way, you can use this strategy and I really recommend using the strategy on higher time frames. H4 going higher. Because when we did the robustness testing for expert advisors, when we did the forward testing, the, the optimizations, we actually realized according to computer, according to computer simulations of thousands of strategies there is no profitable strategy that is below the day one going lower there is no profitable listen there's no profitable strategy of anything that's below the day one chart so whatever i'm teaching you apply it to the higher time frames you get me and i'm also going to go to the higher time frames now and show you how it's done for all my mobile users right um it's really the same thing there's really not any much difference um you c i like to zoom out when analyzing on the mobile chart it's very difficult for me to do so because i got big fingers but <laughs> but we can actually make it happen so that's what i do i mark off the resistance support and resistance and i've already put in the indicator as you saw all right and yeah you know oh excuse me excuse me there now, a good question that some of you may ask me is, how do I know where support and resistance is? How do I get good at plotting support and resistance? And I'm going to make a beautiful video on just that alone because support and resistance is so deep and it's so important that it needs its own proper video. I'm going to be doing a proper video to help you how to plot support and resistance, how to plot trend lines like a pro, how to, you know, play and mess around with these things. And so, yeah, don't worry about that. Just um, stay with me on this course. And yeah, I'm just teaching you the strategy so you can better understand technical analysis. Perfect. 
Perfect. Now for the buying opportunity on the desktop, right? I can't just enter this just as it is. You know, I have three confluences. You know, I've, I see that the candlestick just closed above the green line. Perfect. There's a fractal here that points down. There's, um, this support and resistance that's there. Um, so three things have aligned for me just the way that I want them to, but then I want more, I want more confidence. And this is where I'm going to be teaching you about chart patterns. Now chart patterns are going to have their own video as well on the channel, but then I'm going to be giving you an overview. These are so important in any traders arsenal to the point whereby like you cannot live without them. You cannot work without chart patterns. If you don't know this, you can fall into huge traps because you do not understand the psychology of it. And I'm going to be getting deeper into psychological trading um, as we go along. Remember, I told you the different types of analysis. Chart patterns and candlestick patterns are mainly for psychological trading. And right now in chart patterns, we have a couple that you can see here, the bearish double top and the bearish double bottom. Now on the chart, so I can show you representative representationally, um, for all the beginners out there, by the way, a double bottom is this right here. This is a double bottom. As you can see, the market came and hit one, two. Actually, this can also be a small triple top because of that right there. But for now, um, it's cool as a double bottom, a double bottom. It's, it can be characterized by similar or nearby price touches. Price came and touched here twice, indicating that this is an area of interest and this is a double bottom. And I'm going to be going so much deeper into each and every single chart pattern because it needs professional. It, it, it needs you to be a professional at this. It needs you to have spent time studying these things. There's, there are double patterns. You, there are double bottoms that you should enter and double bottoms you should not enter. It's a trap. The market has traps like that for novices. So I'm going to be teaching you all of these things in other videos going forward. Just stick with me and hit that subscribe. Perfect. And if you're watching this within the course, then um, thank you for taking this once again. Now that's the double bottom right there. The double top can also be this. And here's the thing, right? I'm just going to give you this real quick. You don't want to be taking these things seriously if they're not in a point of support and resistance. A double top, a double bottom, a triple top, a triple bottom, head and shoulders, wedges, all of these things, they are best if they are on support and resistance. And I'm talking about a serious support and resistance. This is why I say watch the support and resistance video so that you can integrate all of that together. But then these things are beautifully done on a perfect support and resistance. If I see a pattern like this, the way that I like it, the way that I've practiced it and the way that I've mastered it, and I see it on a, on a, on, on a support and resistance, then my confluence just goes way, way higher. Combining that with the indicators, the fractals, combining that with the indicators and the fractals, and then you have a high confluence strategy. And I wish you guys would take this and, and go and practice with it. You get me? By the way, this is not financial advice for anybody. Perfect. And then, yeah, that's what we're doing right now. So um, there's also the head and shoulders, and I'm just going to be showing you a few quickly so that um others don't get bored there's also the head and shoulders which is character which looks like a double bottom but then it has this um this interesting pattern you know this interesting pattern you know like that it has this three touch pattern in which the two are lower than the high one right there the high one just hit a bit high and then the two go like that and it's always a reversal pattern reversal meaning that it's going to change direction so that's a head and shoulders right there but then yeah these are always best on the higher time frame going back to the strategy now here right as you can see There's a pattern that formed there. Am I the only one who sees that? Would you look at that? The market came and touched this area and then it bounced up and then it came again and touched that area. That's actually a double bottom. Now a double bottom doesn't have to be as equal as they did right here. You know, here they made the heads of the double bottom look equal, but then it doesn't always have to be equal. The next head 
or one of the heads can always be shorter than the other and I always recommend the second head being shorter than the first head because that's a more confident double top. It means that momentum is decreasing, you know. The other opponents have lost strength. And as you can see here, the second touch is actually less than the first touch, which is more confidence for me. And this is where I'm ready to enter now. Too many things have come together for me. You get me? And if I was to enter right here, right, where this thing had closed, where this thing closed above, this candlestick closed above. So I'm interested in entering right there. On this red line that would have been my entry position where would i put my stop loss that's the strategy so the strategy is wait for the candlestick to close above the green wait for it to be at a support and resistance wait for the formation wait for the um the appearance of a of a fractal of which you can see right here the fractal has appeared right here um it has appeared right down here. But then remember, we don't take the fractal of the M15. We take the fractal of the higher time frame, which is the one that appeared there. The fractal appeared here on the higher time frame. This is why when I saw the fractal on the higher time frame, I immediately moved to the lower time frame. And that's what we did. We moved to the higher, to the lower time frame in order to get better entry conditions. You know, you can, an you, 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 you're supposed to analyze on the higher time frame and then get down lower to the air uh, to the lower time frames for entry but analysis must always be but analysis must always be on the higher time frames and so on this situation we entered cleanly here at the close above the candlestick actually this candlestick closed above you could have also entered down here but it doesn't matter now where would I place my stop loss because everything has connected perfectly I would have placed my stop loss a few pips below this zone you see where this zone is at i would have placed my stop loss maybe 100 pips below this zone so it would have been right there at 140.633 that's 100 pips from this zone right here or you can add 250 pips or you can you can add even more pips and this is where i want to introduce to you another indicator because this is the technical analysis course i'm teaching you technical analysis here and i have to squeeze in as many indicators as i can so you can understand there's a beautiful indicator and it's a leading indicator it's called the average through range it only has one knob like the rsi which is the period it counts how many candlesticks and this is a beautiful candle this is the this, this is the beautifulest indicator here i love it so much and i always use it in my arsenal the average true range actually calculates how much volume how much volatility is currently inside the market and unlike the relative strength index this is the true index this is the true range Remember in physics, there was always a relative calculation and a true calculation. Remember that? So this is not the relative volume or the relative strength or momentum of the, of the, of the market. It's the true. It's the true. It's the true. I want you to follow that. This is the true calculation. This is the true um, representation of the volume. Meaning that that number that you see up here, right? The number that you see right there. That's 0, 0.063. It's telling you an indication. It's a calculation of how much extra volatility is in the market right now. Meaning that if you were going to add 100 pips below this zone for your stop loss, right? Then add 63 points more. That's what the average true range is saying. That's what you need to do in order to account for the extra volatility in the market. And this can fluctuate according to the days, the movement of the market. And this number always fluctuates. So always take into consideration this number. You get me? It can go higher. It can go lower. And that's just the beauty of the average true range. That's all it does. Forget about this line here. It's going to confuse you. It doesn't have any metrics here. So we don't look at the line without the metrics. If there were metrics here, like one is to a hundred, then you would look at the line here. We don't look at the line. We look at the number here. This number is very important. It's saying add 63 pips extra to your stop loss so that you don't get stopped out unnecessarily. 
many traders they get stopped out unnecessarily not that your not that your analysis was wrong not that your indicators were off not that your decision was wrong but you didn't know where to put your stop loss you put your stop loss too tight and you didn't consider that there was too much volume in the market at that particular moment what's volume volume means that there were too many traders in the market at that moment so you got stopped out because you didn't know about this information this is why i'm saying that this is very very important and vital to your arsenal never go without it so that's what we did i just introduced to you a number of new indicators and so now we've entered the market right we've entered the market and we've decided to put our stop loss 100 pips 100 pips below that zone and then we added 63 extra pips because of the average to range so our stop loss will be somewhere around there perfect that would that would that's where our stop loss would be roughly beautiful now where would our take profit be well according to zone to zone right the take profit is supposed to be at the next zone so that's where our take profit would be but for me that's like that's too tight no the risk to reward ratio remember i taught you risk to reward ratio the risk to reward ratio is not enough so i'm going to go to my higher time frame and then look for another zone in which I can pinpoint my my take profit on the USDJPY. And I don't see anything on the H4. Let me go to the day one and see. Yeah, perfect. Now I can see another. I'm, I'm going to look for other zones on the day one. Other points of possible interest where the market may be headed. And as you can see, there's a little one right there. You see where? where that is and i'm gonna mark that this is why i like plotting my support and resistance on higher time frames always plot your support and resistance on higher time frames i even go up to the monthly monthly those who have um hey let me not <laughs> yeah i like to go up on the monthly and so yeah i'm gonna plot up those so that i can get a possible target a take profit remember your target must always be at a point of, of of support and resistance going higher so going back to the m15 now i have just gotten myself my target and it's really really way up there so um i can either aim for that i can either aim for that giant take profit up there which i you know it may definitely get there but it's extremely, extremely far. So what I'm going to be doing is that I'm going to be setting a take profit in stages. By the way, take profit is where your money is going to next. I don't know if maybe you don't know what I'm talking about. And stop loss is where your, your stop, stop loss is where your, your, you, you don't want to, you don't want to get stopped out at. And then take profit is where you want to go higher. You know, that's where you want to go. And so, yeah, the strategy is complete in that sense in which now we're only left with a take profit. We know what we want to know where to exit. And I'm going to set my take profit just a few pips below. Oh, excuse me. And I'm going to be setting my take profit just a few pips below that right there so that I can get a good risk to reward ratio. Now, now we get to the risk management side of the strategy. And risk management for all the beginners out there, it's how you control your risk. It's how you want to control, um, how much you're willing to risk, how much you're going to gain, how much do you know how to control your account size. And it's so important. Actually, everything that I've taught you now is just a drop in the ocean to becoming a profitable trader. You need to master psychology. You need to master risk management. And we're going to be covering all of that in this channel. And the sub, the risk to reward ratio here, we can calculate it. It's like, um, that's 560 points. That's 900. It's almost one is to two, which is better. You know, anything above one is to one is good, but then the higher, the better. So here you can decide to put a higher take profit. And, and as I said, I'm going to be putting a take profit in stages, meaning that if this goes my way, of which we did see it went my way, I want to you know set up a higher tick profit i want to set up a higher and higher and higher and higher tick profit going 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 forward 
you know i'm just gonna keep increasing that take profit until it reaches this zone and maybe even go up to the next zone that i marked up there and that's how we do this strategy you get me I want to do one more and as you can see indeed because you know we saw what was going to happen next we did go higher this proved to be correct and beautiful now i want to do another last setup so that you can properly understand and fully grasp the strategy and this is a more accurate setup you know this is something that i would take because now the market broke through that zone that we had marked right this is so that you master the strategy and now it came back down it came back down and tested this zone that it had broken meaning that we can extend this zone now we can extend this zone to go and uh touch to go and touch that that point right there so that's what's happening with this this is actually a, a, a more interesting point because the market broke up and then it retested to give us a cheaper price and it broke the previous high right there indicating to us that indeed market is still going higher because it broke the recent highest point it just broke a new level it broke records meaning that now we want to enter buys again and it gave us an opportunity to enter another buy by becoming cheaper so the first thing remember is that we go to the higher time frame and look for fractals has a fractal appeared yet and just like that beautiful there was a down fractal right there remember everything after the red line doesn't exist so a fractal has appeared and now i'm gonna wait i'm gonna and now i'm gonna go to the lower time frame so that i can look for entry positions remove all of these because we won that trade i guess <laughs> we we won our imaginary trade perfect now um how do you enter this that's how the strategy goes remember on the h1 we found a fractal beautiful and then now we're looking for entry, meaning that we're looking for candlestick patterns. We know that it's at a zone and then we're going to wait for it to cross above the green line so that we can enter and then also look for candlestick patterns. Now, what happens when you can't find the candlestick pattern on your M15? Well, you go down to a lower time frame. You go to your M5 and on the M5, you'll be able to see a candlestick pattern. And as indeed true to the word we found a double bottom again so once again that double bottom hit right there and then now we just wait for the market to close above and then we enter so i'm going to be moving our red line so that the market is is, is to pretend like the market is live and it hadn't broke it hadn't broke our green line the lips of the alligator yet it hadn't broke yet it hadn't broke yet and boom it broke so you see this this bu bullish candlestick here closed above the green line. Now I'm interested to enter. The signal is complete. You can always put a trend line here, you know, to incorporate the, the major key into this. Like the, the, there's no, there's no rules to this. You can do whatever. You can put a trend line right there and then you'll see that it not only broke the trend line, but it also entered into the green. It entered into, it crossed above the green alligator line so now all of my conditions are met i'm entering now and remember when we enter we enter right there where it closed so my entry would be right there at the close of this candlestick it would it would be right there and then my stop loss now i look at the relative the the, the average true range and it says 0 0.029 so i'm going to be adding um, 100 pips below the zone so oh wait let me let me let me zoom out so i can put my stop loss perfect we entered now i'm putting in my stop loss boom we're gonna enter i'm gonna add 100 pips below the the zone so it's gonna be roughly around there and then i'm gonna add 29 points to it to account for the extra volatility it may seem minuscule but trust me it's real you know it's real it works so that's where my stop loss would be roughly this is just rough estimations by the way um i want you to come back again in which i'll be doing in future i'm going to be doing a live you know i'll be entering positions live so that you can see how the strategy works i also want to be teaching you um how to set stop loss how to 
enter proper lot size, how to calculate risk, how to do all of those things. And I'm going to be teaching you everything that you will need to become a profitable trader, you know. And I'm going to be teaching you everything you need to fully understand trading and fully understand technical analysis. Perfect. And then, yeah, we can extend the zones there if you like, but there's no need. Now, the take profit again, it's going to be at the next zone. And for this one, I'm going to be putting it a few pips below the next zone. Why do I say below? Because you don't want to be putting it above. What if it doesn't reach there and it, it, it turns right below? That has happened before. So here's a cool tip. Put your take profit below the next zone for buys and put the take profit above for sales. Don't worry, we're going to the mobile now so I can show you selling positions. But I'm sure if you understand the buys, then you'll understand the sales. But no problem. I'm still going to do it on the mobile and show you how it works on the for selling um, scenarios. So here, the take profit is up there. Let's see the risk to reward ratio. It's a nice almost one is to two. That's perfect. And then you can increase the target as, as time goes on. But this, people, uh, people of God, I'm telling you that it is an accurate it is an accurate entry it works and the higher the time frame the better you just need to be patient and practice it back test it if this is going to be your main chick if this is going to be your main strategy then please learn her you know treat her right practice her study her and you know make sure that you know her that's what i'm saying you don't want to marry a strategy that you don't know so <laughs> All of this will always depend on your patience as a trader. You know, for some of you, higher time frames are not good because of your patience. But then this works beautifully on a higher time frame. H4 specifically. The H4 time frame is the best time frame for this for this strategy. And I promise you that the, the, the entries, it's it's beautiful. You know, the accuracy of it, it's it's pretty good. Um, once again, thank you for joining me on this episode. And uh, let's meet up on the next one, shall we? Shalom, I love you.